Even though plenty of biological women use tampons all the time, there's still so much factual murkiness and confusion surrounding them, especially when it comes to super scary health risks and overall safety. Well, guess what, bish? That all ends today. Let's start with the basics. Tampons are absorbent little cylinders that plug up your vagina so that your menstrual blood doesn't leak out. The tampons our ancestors used were made out of wool, weeds, or papyrus. All of which sound, at the very least, extremely itchy. While we've evolved to use less abrasive materials in our tampons, what exactly is in them is still shrouded in some level of mystery. That's because the FDA regulates tampons as medical devices, which is kinda weird because last time we checked, getting regular periods wasn't a medical condition. In any event, there are three classes of medical devices, and tampons are in class two, along with pregnancy tests and powered wheelchairs, which means they require greater regulatory control to provide reasonable assurance of the device's safety and effectiveness, according to the FDA. The biggest problem with tampons being regulated as a medical device is that the FDA does not require companies to tell the world what kind of ingredients are in medical devices. Turns out both synthetic and non-synthetic tampons have limited shelf lives, around five years or so. That's because tampons aren't tightly sealed like sterile products, and if even the teeniest, tiniest airway exists in the packaging, mold and bacteria could get in there and go to town. And yeah, you guessed it, tampon manufacturers don't put expiration dates on their products. Now at this point, some of you might be like, okay, I can throw away old cotton tampons, no problem. But what about TSS though? Toxic shock syndrome, better known as TSS, is a life-threatening bacterial infection that occurs when a specific strain of bacteria called Staphylococcus aureus gets into your vagina. Once inside, the bacteria grows and produces a toxin called TSST1, and that toxin causes your body to completely go into crisis mode. And in the process, a crazy amount of chemicals are released that cause fevers, rashes, and if it's really, really bad, organ failure and death. That's the whole reason why it's called toxic shock syndrome. It's not that the toxin itself is causing the reactions, it's your body being shocked into reactions because of the toxin. The bacteria can hitch a ride into your vagina on any and all materials. The thing that does matter is absorbency. The higher the absorbency level of your tampon, the higher the chance of getting TSS. It kind of makes sense when you think about it though. The inside of your vag is coated with a lubricant that keeps things nice and moist. When you insert a super absorbent tampon, it literally sucks up all the moisture it can get because that's its job. But if you're having a light bleeding day and using a super sized tampon, it could suck up too much moisture and irritate the vaginal mucosa, leaving slight abrasions that essentially crack the door open for any bacteria that want to enter your bloodstream. It's only when a bunch of bacteria take an airy extended vacation into your vaginal paradise that they get real loco and start producing the dangerous TSST1 toxin. And if that makes you want to yank out your cotton tamp immediately and put in a menstrual cup instead, here's some earth-shattering news for you. Since menstrual cups basically allow a big gulp amount of oxygen into your vag, they can also be a catalyst for the bacteria. You heard right, menstrual cups don't prevent TSS any more than cotton or synthetic tampons do. Okay, now that I've sufficiently blown your mind or made you cry a little, I think it's time for some good news. TSS is actually extremely rare in modern society. It only occurs in about one out of every 10,000 people. And in 2016, there were only 40 cases of TSS reported in the US. And even though the FDA is still problematic when it comes to regulating tampons, at least it now evaluates whether or not a tampon promotes the growth of Staphylococcus aureus before it's allowed to go on the market. But it's also so easy to prevent TSS. All you have to do is use the lowest absorbency tampon you can and change it out every two to four hours. That's it. Honestly, the scariest part about tampons is the fact that we don't discuss the proper way to use them thoroughly or frequently enough. So guess what, bish? It's up to us to change that. I challenge you to tell at least one lady about what you learned from this video today. If we all do that, maybe we can lower the chances of getting TSS even more. Now get on out there and get chatty.